My goal on YouTube as of today would probably be to um, turn a profit because that's important because I am graduating right now and I have bills to pay and at the same time enjoy what I'm doing and also give some something new and fresh to the YouTube community that can't be found anywhere else. Don't limit yourself um, because there's so many different things that you can do on the internet, obviously, and social media um, that you may not, that may not appeal to you, but there's people on there that you'll appeal to just from being approachable on that medium, if that makes sense at all. So say Twitter doesn't you know, appeal to you, but you never know who you can reach if you join it. And so that was a big thing for me when branching out and finding out that I could get off of YouTube and find people in different kinds of areas um, and not being afraid to branch out that way. And another thing I would think is um, you never know who's watching. I always say that. Um, or reading or listening or whatever medium that you do. Um, you never know who's absorbing that. And that could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. Um, but just be conscious of that and realize that there are opportunities that can be had or lost, whether you go about things the right way. So um, be conscious of that. It's one thing that I've struggled with for the past couple of years is just keeping true to myself, but not, you know, overstepping boundaries. Um, as, as far as branding goes, um, don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, in the past, I've, I notoriously promote myself and, for lack of a better term, whore myself out. Um, because if you don't, you get lost amid so many other people who are trying to make it. And if you are not confident in expressing what you want to express and asking people for the help that you can ask, then it'll just get lost among everybody else. And so if you want, it, if you want to make it, you have to kind of make it yourself. And that's what I've done, I think. But another thing I can say about promoting the brand um, is one thing that I found while promoting myself on each of these different like social networking things is to remain consistent. And um, one of the big things that YouTube pushes that I've experienced is just be consistent, put out a scheduled, you know, people need to know what they're getting themselves into if you want them to come back for more. And one thing that has really been successful for me is having this, you know, formula, for lack of a better term, I don't like it to be that formal, but having a formula that people know that if they come back for more, they're going to get this. If they go to my Twitter, they're going to get these kind of tweets. If they go to my Facebook, it'll be a, a different type of thing, but it'll be that much more personal. And being able to consistently do that gets them to keep coming back for more. And if down the line, if they forget about you, um, they know what they can come back to. And if you change within those like couple years, you never know what's going to happen. And so, like, the more that you stay true to yourself from the start to the to the end, the less work you'll have to try to put in with maintaining that like consistency. If that makes sense that at all. That did make sense. Yeah. Okay. We have more PR tips on video at YouTube.com/slash/MSUPRSSA.